this is just the biggest task she's had to face. Every morning it's, it's just so painful to get up. And then my fingers don't work. And then I have to get my shot and the pills. I want to be here and do whatever I can to help her. Um, and as I know that she would try to do the same for anybody in her life too. She's more protective because she's seen what can happen to anyone. Somebody who's an incredibly independent person and a very physically active person and everything else to to have this, you know, happen. It was a good day when we left the nursing home to go to the, the rehab hospital and they told us, you know, be prepared, it's going to be hard work. It was great, um, you know, that, that was a, a team of people who you know, showed up every day and they gave her an appointment schedule and you've got, you know, an hour of this, a half hour of this, an hour of this, and, you know, it's, it's an all-day job, you know, getting yourself to the point where you can get out of the rehab hospital and, and get home. I coach high school softball. Um, I've already actually reached out to a number of them to talk about distracted driving and how horrible it is. The fact that uh, the, this all came about because of distracted driving, you know, is, is a, it's certainly a, 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 a bit more of a wake-up call. We need to just say no to texting or, you know, being distracted in general, even just reaching down and picking up something. You know, being a new driver, um, it's it really makes you think twice about every action you make when you're going to be you know, using operating a vehicle um, just because of you know it, it's a weapon Melanie the survivor I want her strength to shine through um, I don't want people to feel sorry for her and neither does she um, this is a horrible thing that's happened but it's something that's going to come out of this. A lot of people ask me, you know, um, are you surprised, you know, how Melanie's, you know, been through this in terms of, of mentally, you know, there's been up days, there's been down days, you know, not, she's not an I can't person. Once this whole thing is over, like, you know, years down the road, I'd like to be able to look back and, and show how, you know, our family went through a life-changing experience, but was ever, was able to conquer it and, and you know, continue life as normal. I started being hit by a car. I'm very lucky with um, the people that love me. You know, I am loved. Um